Ever wondered how hackers carry out large-scale attacks? It's not a one-man show, they have an army, an army of botnets. Botnets are, in essence, the backbone of a hacker's arsenal, a collection of internet-connected devices that have been compromised. But how does this happen, you ask? Imagine a home filled with smart devices, each device representing a potential soldier in this army. The hacker, often referred to as a bot herder, infects these devices with a malicious software or malware, which gives them remote control over the device. This infiltration can happen through various means. A suspicious email link clicked in naivety, a security loophole in the device exploited, or a malicious app downloaded. As these infected devices connect to the internet, they're added to the bot herder's growing army, creating a network of commandeered devices, each one a bot in the net. So, in essence, botnets are like an army of zombies mindlessly following the commands of their leader, the bot herder. Now that we know what a botnet is, how does it work? How does a device become a bot? Well, the process is surprisingly simple yet cunningly deceptive. A device becomes a bot when it's infected with malicious software. This often happens when users unwittingly download a malware-infected file. It could be an innocent-looking email attachment, a seemingly useful software download, or even a Trojan horse hiding on an infected website. Once the malware is on the device, it opens a back door for the bot herder to step in. The bot herder, a sort of digital puppet master, then takes control of the infected device remotely. They don't need to be physically near the device or even in the same country. They just need an internet connection and the right commands. The device now starts behaving like a zombie, mindlessly following the commands of the bot herder. But what's even more troubling is that the bot herder doesn't even need to be the one who originally infected the device. They could simply be renting the botnet from its creator. That's right, there's a whole underground market for botnets, where cybercriminals can rent out their zombie armies to the highest bidder. As these botnets grow and multiply, they amplify the hacker's ability to wreak havoc. From spamming your inbox to launching DDoS attacks, they automate and speed up the process of cybercrime. So the bot herder is the puppet master pulling the strings and directing the symphony of chaos that botnets can cause. Botnets can cause havoc, but what are their common actions? What can they do once they have control over your devices? Well, let's delve into the murky waters of cyber sabotage. One common action of botnets is to send out massive amounts of email spam. Imagine your device mindlessly churning out thousands of unwanted emails like a rogue post office. But botnets don't stop at just jamming up inboxes. They're also notorious for carrying out distributed denial of service attacks, or DDoS for short. In a DDoS attack, the botnet floods a targeted system with so much traffic that it grinds to a halt, like a freeway during rush hour. Now let's talk about something that really hits home, your finances. Botnets can be programmed to steal financial data from infected devices. That's right, your bank account details, credit card numbers, and other sensitive financial information could be at risk if your device becomes part of a botnet. And finally, botnets are often used for targeted intrusions into specific systems. This could be anything from a corporation's secure database to a government's classified information. So, whether it's sending spam emails, carrying out DDoS attacks, stealing financial data, or making targeted intrusions, botnets are a versatile tool for cyber criminals. Botnets are indeed a potent weapon in a hacker's arsenal, capable of causing widespread damage and disruption.